What's up guys and welcome to episode 1 of Fade the Beast Interactions. I've been wanting to play this pack for a while. From what I understand it's built mostly around Greg Tech with a bunch of other tech and magic mods thrown into the mix. I'm excited to get started so without further ado let's get into the game. Okay well I've loaded into the world and I've uh, taken a little look through the quest book and my settings. Uh, just accept this. So we start off on a void world. Um, apparently the testers kept dying in the overworld, so they decided to be nice to us and give us a void island to start on. We have to complete this first page of the quest book to even get to the overworld. Uh, down here to this portal block. And it looks like we're going to be going through some basic primitive age things, building tools, getting woods building this work table which seems to be used for a lot of the early game recipes over the crafting table and these clay kilns which are used instead of furnaces and we started off with a transmutation table and a tome of knowledge so we'll put that into the table and It looks like we're very limited by what has EMC in this pack. Might just be used for this starting area. Um, I'm going to start hammering away at some of these early quests and I will get back to you soon. I'm just going to speed through some of the basic stuff like punching trees. This mod pack doesn't, really, doesn't have fast leave falling which Feels a bit unusual and making some basic tools stuff like that okay so i've done a couple of the quests now i've uh, made some basic tools cut down a few trees got some food as quest rewards we do seem to have nutrition in here so no building another little platform to give us a bit more room because there's nowhere there's enough room on this basic platform. All the materials I've just pulled out of the transmutation table, gravels in here as well as stone and I've just been getting EMC from throwing the sticks and the saplings in there. Unfortunately there's no way to just turn wood straight into planks. So first we have to put it down and then right click it on the app. And then right click it again. And we're only getting one wood plank per at the moment. So it's going to be a pain until we find a way to get more. And I assume that is when we get to the saw down here and the sawmill. Now press on and get a couple more quests done. But according to the quest book, we can make flint shears. Here's that too. Get some leaves. Which might as well use Ultimine. And this should be a better source of EMC. There's 16 EMC per, a little bit less than saplings and more than sticks, but we get a lot more for each action. Should make sure that we don't run out of EMC anytime soon. Looks like the next task is to create this basic work table. Um, we're going to need to craft it in a crafting table and another crafting table and then a set of tinkers tools, which I think I already have. We need two crafting tables. Down there. I don't suppose I'm going to be lucky enough that it will take this broken hatchet that I have. No, oh, it will. Brilliant. Okay. And consume it though and there we go we have the basic work table and then we also need this stone mallet which is just some sticks and cobstone and there we go and i think this can just sit in here and the quest reward will give us the toolbox which if we put down next to it we get access to all of the tools that we need in there. Next up is going to be getting access to water. 
And it looks like we can do that by grabbing some ice out of the transportation table. If I grab two out of my pickaxe, that's the quest done. Hopefully, I've built this little area here. Put water down like that. And break both of these. And then we have infinite water source. And next up, we will make this stone saw. So let's just get two planks out of every piece of wood. And it's just sticks, stone rods, and flint. Sticks, flint, stone rod. Now we can put this in the oh, put this in the work table. Now we can make two wood out of each one, and I believe we can also make a chest now. Be very nice. I've been working towards getting us these water colanders, which will get us a lot more of the other resources that we need to finish this part of the pack. Um, these have three different types of nets. There's the survivalist, the dense survivalist, and the fisherman's. I've gathered up enough to make nine of these, so we can have three of each. And so far I've set up the craft for the strainer bases. Oh, I'm actually going to need another hammer. I'll go through these tools really quickly. And I've set up a little area over here. And next we are going to need the nets. And to make these sticks around a normal net which needs twine which comes from plant fibers we can get from saplings and grass the quest book recommends using the grass from here i think we need shears yeah here we get the plant fibers was it three of these to make twine and then three of those to make the nets i'll just make three for now wait is this is this for the hammer no what am i doing wrong this is in the crafting table this is in the graphic table, okay. There's the three survivalist trainers. And then if we grab another block of ice out of here, I still don't have a bucket. That down there, and this should get all of these running. And we'll have to wait a while, and they will eventually start producing these resources to make the dense survivalist nets. Takes eight of these twine. Do we have enough? We do. That makes two per as well. It's handy. And again, make three for now, though we will need more later because these do have durability. And I am not prepared at all. I should have got the ice while I was over here. As you see, these have started to get us some very basic resources. These normal ones just get us seeds by the looks of it, so we can start getting a little bit of farm done. Get some cotton seeds. And these dense ones will get us clay and other materials. Sand, dirt, worms, gravel. And then... Once we've got some sugar cane, which comes from the survivalists, then 
we can make these fisherman strainers as well, which will be for the last column. And from here we can get bones, string, rotten flesh, and fish. Okay, so I left these strainers going for a little while, and we've started to get a nice collection of seeds and stuff in these ones. Uh, quite a lot of clay, we're going to need the clay in a minute, so I'll grab that now. And also I got enough sugarcane to make these fisherman strainer baits, and I just put them down. I don't have a lot of bait yet, and we can't make the bait pots, but hopefully we'll be able to get enough to continue from that. So next off, I'm going to make one of these clay kilns, which is what we need the clay for, and just eight of them. I want to make quite a few of these. I think eight should be enough. I made a little area for them over here, and a little area for our farm. Okay, now before these can be used, they need to be fired. And to do that we need to light fires under them. Um, probably not quite that many. Should do it for now. And to light the fires we're going to have to use these whittle sticks. And we hold one in each hand and I think right click on the ground. And we will just do three of them for now. And then once these are fired and put a wooden block in there, and hopefully this fire will last long enough. No, I need to have to restart that. And I will need another set of these. And see, it's very primitive, it's very slow. You can't really automate it because the fire needs to be underneath, so you can't take it out with a hopper. And now we have this low grade charcoal and fire will never go out if it's on this charcoal so we can put that down there like that and now that will stay on fire and I'm just going to set up the rest of these really quickly. Okay now I've got these all set up I've got half of them making up more charcoal and half of them making up stone. And now that we've got these, hopefully we should be able to make some clay buckets. And these will need to be fired inside these furnaces. This just takes a moment. And what we're hoping to do is move on and make these plant balls, which I haven't been able to make till now because you need water in the work table and I haven't had anything to pick water up with. There we go. Now I can just grab... Okay, I was wrong, we don't have a source block there. I'm sure some of you were laughing at me earlier when I said that. So now we have water in here, hopefully this grass works, and now we can make these coagulated plant balls, which I believe copies plants and makes them grow faster as well. Okay, so I've started a little farm over here, just growing things like rice, wheat, cotton, for string, and some other random things that I got from the strainers. And next up, what I want to craft is these ground traps. I've made up enough resources that we should be able to craft four of them. And we also need bait, which is what I needed the rice for, I believe. Crafted like this. We need some more string. Have a couple more of these. Yeah, now these needs six grass blocks within two blocks so I think if I put them here, here here and here then we should have the one two one two and one one 
should give us the six. And then split these by between them. And these should get us things like meat and feathers, leather, bones. We are getting some bones from the fisherman's trap, but not many. And then as well, I also want to craft the... Where is it? This, the war-powered saw. And the only thing that I need to make for that is this saw blade. You get the flint block from just putting gravel through the furnaces. And I just need to grab some more flint really quickly. Okay, so I have managed to get this automated. Um, this is sawmills placed down just to make sure it's facing the right way, otherwise it won't work. And put the logs up in here. This whopper puts them onto there. And then the flowing water should carry them along here into the whopper down there, and then they should end up in this chest down here. This is now getting me four planks for every log, which is really nice. And I'm not sure if these ground traps are working here. I'm not sure if they don't have enough space or if it doesn't like the vivid grass. So I'm going to just move these over here and into this space and see if it works better. Well, moving these ground traps over here seems to have worked. We're now getting resources from them. I need to clear out my inventory. Right, that's this quest done. Um, this one we're going to need leather and processed wax. We can't get the processed wax yet, I don't think. We need to go down here for that. We should have bones for this quest. And these. I did make the bait pots for these, although I'm still not getting a lot of worms, which is slowing me down a little bit. And then... Need grout for this quest. We should just be able to get a stack of sand and a stack of gravel and that like this. Unfortunately, it seems the only way to actually cook this grout at the moment is one brick of time in these. So this is probably going to take me a little while. Fortunately, it doesn't seem like we need too much seared brick to at least make the porcelain melter. We will need more later, but this should make it easier to get more. Um, we do need these porcelain bricks though, and the quest book recommends that we make a porcelain chicken for this. I've never actually used this chicken mod before. It has its own page in the quest book, and it looks like first of all we want to make a chicken catcher. I think it's just an egg, stick, and a feather. I'm hoping. Uh, do I have any eggs yet? I do. And that gives me the chicken catcher. Which will give me a spawn egg for a chicken. Well, just to make the smart chicken, which I need to make the porcelain one, we need to smack the chicken with a book. Apparently, and I can make book. I need three paper. And leather. Let's see if I can figure this out. Let's pull a chicken. Smack it with the book, and then smack it with the chicken catcher. And there we go, smart chicken. I'm going to work on this Infinity Dust quest. Um, it looks like we need to left click on Bedrock with Flint for this, and it uses four levels of experience. And there 
was a piece of bedrock in the middle of this platform right here. There was also an angel block which I mined up. And just try it. Okay, that worked. Let's grab a couple of these. And there we go, nine of them should do me for now. I also managed to get lucky and got another chicken out of an egg. So once that grows up, I'll be able to breed it with this one to get 10, 10, 10 smart chicken. And then hopefully we'll be able to move on from there to get the porcelain chicken. Okay then, and just to finish up for today, I think we'll make these arcane ashes really quickly because they seem quite easy. So first of all, we are going to need this low cover Dovalence dust. And this is just sand, tiny charcoal and infinity dust and we get nine per. We can get the tiny charcoal by just sawing up these blocks of low grade charcoal that I made earlier. Now I need some sand as well. I'll just craft up two recipes of this for now. And then make the arcane ashes. We need low covalence dust. Okay, we need a blackened spirit sugar and ashes we can get the ashes by hitting this with a hammer and then we use this mortar which was just a flint and some stone to get some bone meal then we craft this in world by just throwing it into fire okay that just took a 20 seconds to make that and then finally, we should be able to get the sugar from sugarcane, I assume. Yeah, with the mortar. Does it have to be in the crafting table? Okay, it does. Maybe it should just be this, this. Sugar, ashes, black and spirits, and was it hammer? Yeah, there we go, it's Arcane Ashes, and that will get that quest done. And I think that's about all we have time for today. Um, next episode, we should hopefully get to the overworld and start out with some of that. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Um, I'm new to this, so if you've got any feedback, feel free to leave it, leave it below in the comments, and I'll try and get back to everybody. And I will catch you next time.